We ask the Urbana Police Department to be a part of uh, what we do today. And what they're doing is making sure students at Urbana High School are safe after a large fight yesterday. Police surrounded the building this morning. Good evening, I'm Paul Cicchini. And I'm Jennifer Roscoe. A teacher was hurt in that fight. Seven students and an adult who walked into the building were arrested. The superintendent told us last night the students at fault will face severe consequences like ex suspension or expulsion. So we took a deeper look at what programs are available to help troubled students turn their lives around. WCI3's Miranda Meister is live in Urbana. She has information on what those are. Miranda, what are their options? Jennifer, I spoke with two programs that help trouble teens, and they both tell me that they help students who sometimes have behavioral problems. We take students that have been expelled from their home schools. Troubled students are given a second chance when they go to an alternative program like Ready. Staff takes a different approach at interacting with them. We build relationships with our students. A lot of communication, a lot of talking. Uh, we like to be more proactive than reactive. Ready gets students for a number of reasons, but of those is behavior issues. Supposedly, we work with the toughest kids in Champaign and Ford counties, but realistically, we have very few incidents here just because we take the time to get to know the students and, and we have that flexibility at, at a smaller setting. And Ready isn't the only program that does this. Lincoln's Challenge Academy works with teens to improve their behavior. Dealing with authority figures, uh, and when I say those are the major behavior issues. The Academy has people who work with these teens to improve during the 22-week program. Those people say they enjoy watching them grow. It is so rewarding to see, to actually bring out in them something they didn't have in the beginning. The new class has only been at the academy for a few weeks, but some students can say they already have made a difference in their life. I'm honestly grateful that at least this program has at least given me a second chance because if this program probably was not here, I'd probably, I don't know what I would be doing. And if given the opportunity for a second chance, officials say, take it. Take advantage of us, you know, get what you need to be successful and to go back to your home school. Now, these are just two of the options available for alternative schools in the area. There are two other options. If the students involved in Monday's fight are expelled, some of these programs may be an option. Live in Arbana, Miranda Meister, WCIA 3, your local news leader. All right, Miranda, thank you so much. Now, police say two groups of students started fighting after it spilled into the hallway. Biology teacher Yurasa Mula Kokosis tried to step in. She was knocked unconscious after she fell to the ground. Police say several students accidentally fell on top of her. Seven students were arrested on charges of including mob action. 35-year-old Adrian Pettis was in court today for resisting arrest and obstruction of justice.